just talking about me. Bitches be someone they pussy for two hundred, and I only got two thousand from doing a scene for one night. All right, bitches be getting paid two hundred a yeah, night. Yeah, like, please. Truck drivers, hear me. Can I have your attention? <laughs> What's good, everybody, and welcome back to the Lockout Man Podcast Show. Thank you, thank you for following, thank you for watching. I appreciate all you guys coming in here, hanging out with your boy. Now, today's trucker reaction video, you know, it's kind of it's kind of hard to actually react to this type of foolery, and me being the trucker and a father you know I'm, I'm a father to a to to a son been in his life since day one my son never wanted for anything or for nothing i was there for him i groomed him i, I raised him to be the young man that he is today he's a respectable young man a proud young man he is a he's a college graduate and a business owner and i am proud to be that man's father but for the females in this video that i'm about to react to i i never been a father to a to to a daughter so i wouldn't under i i guess i wouldn't understand you know when when females come up and say they have daddy issues i never i never understood that term until now today we're going to be reacting to rachel and a young and another young lady named passion two separate videos one degrading sight so the first video we're going to get into is the reason why uh this young lady got disowned by her grandmother uh rachel perry and why she went on this particular site now i'm not going to get into the too much details of the site because the site is degrading i do not like it i don't fucking like this site never did when i first heard of it years ago come to find out that this site been in existence for 17 years and off their site their own site they says that white boys taming black angry women it says all models have two forms of id they have a picture beside their face they have a pre-shoot uh a post-shoot video consent and a behind the scenes consent meaning that you know you could stop at any time this site right here degrades black women you you can't blame nobody else but the women that actually goes on this site to be degraded and for this young lady to say how much she got degraded for, it's a damn, damn shame. Damn shame. I feel sorry for the grandmother for Rachel and the mother in the in, in the other video. Yo, without further ado, let's let's do this. Everybody's talking about me. Bitches be someone they pussy for 200 and I only got 2,000 from doing a scene for one night. 2,000 for doing a scene for one night and and they got her looking like real real bad dude and that's and that's what this website is all about they put the, the disgusting looking pictures of these females just looking bewildered just be getting paid 200 a night like please she said that she got paid two thousand dollars she was like oh uh, what 200 but uh, 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 but it, it was two thousand still though two thousand dollars to get degraded like that really it's that bad that you had to go to the bottom of the barrel porn site to get degraded only for two thousand dollars no, I'm 19, but they know I'm oh, 19. Yes. Somebody in the comments Wait. asked me why I look uncomfortable. The only reason why I look uncomfortable is because I'm mad small. Them niggas are big. They was smacking yeah, me. Yeah, they were smacking me. Wonder why I looked uncomfortable because I'm mad small. Them dudes are big. 
you you looked at you look horrible. Like you look way beyond uncomfortable there. You look like horrible. And and you're gonna turn around and and say that the reason why you look like that is because they way big and you mad small? Uh, I was I wasn't scared. I wasn't scared. Was scared. Was scared. Uh, but like I was like, damn, like you don't gotta smack me like that, cause you know like if it was just some regular nigga, I was not letting no nigga do that, but these are professional stars. So. <laughs> Y'all hear that shit? I, I gotta hold on, hold on, hold on. What you say? Uh, I was I wasn't scared. I wasn't was scared. Uh, but like I was like, damn, like you don't gotta smack me like that, cause you know like if it was just some regular nigga, I was not letting no nigga do that, but these are professional stars, so you know. <sighs> Wait. I'm not going to let no no dude do that. Smack you around, call you out of your name, degrade you, pump loads of 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 their bodily fluids on you, spit on you, smack you. Um what what else they doing on here? Just just all all the way around trashing you. Bullshit. You wouldn't let a dude do that. But you'll let these two professional white boys Porn stars do that. Bullshit. That don't even make no fucking sense. That don't make no sense at all. Really? That don't make no sense. That's dumb. Did they force you to do that? She said no. Nah, they didn't. They nah, they didn't. Cool. Cool. She said they mad cool. Well, they are mad cool to me. Like, first off, they got me a whole Uber from where I live all the way from out there. They was paying for my Uber Sorry. there and back from the studio and all that. Right, they hold on. At least it wasn't a Greyhound. Social shit. So she said she didn't want to do that. Yeah, she said she didn't want to do that. Social shit. 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 So I so she got an Uber and two thousand dollars, and they was mad cool. They didn't force her to do this. Of course they didn't. They you have to sign off for the bullshit. You really do. You have to sign off for the bullshit. Bullshit. It has to be a contract, and all that shit in the contract. It's etched in stone. So she can't go back and say, oh, you know, I, I I didn't want this to happen to me, yada, 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 yada. But you, you signed the contract and you took the $2,000. Listen here, man. If you're going to go and do some bullshit like that. Bullshit. At least do it for some fucking money. About two, about 20. Two, two grand. Two grand. Add another couple of zeros on that and make it 20. Make it 20. And these is the same females out here that's talking about, well, you know, I, I, I don't fuck with dudes because dudes don't have what it takes to get with me. I, after seeing that bullshit, no. Bullshit. They give you cold words. They give you cold words. They told you for a time out when you were in the Yes, because they give you cold words. Yes, because they give you cold words. Basically, all right, because um, he told me about one of the girls that came there before me. He was uh -huh. like how, I guess it was too much for her, so she couldn't do it no more. So she just uh -huh. said timed out. That ended the whole thing. She didn't get paid. She just uh -huh. went home and left. But I'm a champ. I'm Roro. I'm not pussy. So I did what I had to do. I it and I got that bag. Period. So the chick that was before her tapped out said she couldn't hang it's too much for her. somewhere in that in that vicinity she got her fucking dignity back and she was like no this shit is not for me she left didn't get paid but you row row though you row row you you did what you had to do to get that bag two thousand dollars all that for two thousand dollars, man. Fuck out of here. Somebody should go out and stop gas. Bar. Ain't nobody not gassing me because I, before this fucking push, I was been lit, been famous. So I don't even care about this. This is just something that's new. This is annoying, bro. Like, I have a life of my own. I have to provide for myself. I, I don't. 
My mother and my father do not pay for my shit no more. I buy my own shit. Uh, okay. like, what the hell? Yeah, yeah, I still live with my mother. She still give a roof over my head, but she don't pay for my shit. What you guys think of this female in the comments below, man? Somebody... Whew. Somebody let me know, man. I, I, I can't phantom. Where is the father? Where is the father? She still, quote, unquote, live with her mother. But where is the father, though? See, these are females that don't have that father figure, that don't have that, that strong presence in their lives to help them, guide them, to mold them to be better young ladies. There ain't no fathers, man. Where is the fathers? I need to know. I need to know. All right. We have a pretty interesting uh, ending here. Passion Rose, you came in. You did <laughs> You fucked it all up. You were an emotional mess. You couldn't do it. Nope. Let's talk about that. What was the deal? Why would you turn into a big crybaby? <sighs> It was just too intense for me. It was too much for me to take, and I thought I could do it, and just couldn't. And you couldn't. You're not the first, and I'm sure you're not going to be the last. But here is what is going to make you epic. I'm not even bullshitting. This is like this is a first for me. Mm -hmm. I've dreamt about this my entire life. No lie. Mm -hmm. All right. Earlier in the shoot, tell me who dropped you off. My mother. Your mom. Who is behind you right now? My mother. Your mom. What the fuck is she here and what's what's getting ready to happen? Somebody explain to me again, where is the fucking father? The mother dropped this young lady off her quote unquote daughter to this set. Now, later in the video, her mother said, the, the guy told her mother that if you knew what we was all about, you wouldn't have brought us here. Do you know what we're about? No, nah, I don't know what you're about. But this young lady had her mother drop her off at this set. Well, my mom is going to sit here and watch me do my scene, and she's going to be coaching me and keeping me calm, cool, and collective. Mom. That's dumb. <sighs> the fuck your your own daughter you you going to coach your daughter to do a cum scene come over to the side here i got i got to talk to you yes <laughs> i mean this this is a little fucking weird right i mean you're you're going to watch your daughter take two loads to the face yes have you ever done that before no i have not <laughs> no have you ever done porn back in the day or anything yeah, right in my bedroom. <laughs> Why are you rubbing your daughter's head for? What the what the hell is going on with this picture? Why are you rubbing your daughter's head? What is, what is going on? And then the dude asked you if you did porn or anything like that. Like I can understand if you was in the porn industry and you know your 18, 19 year old daughter want to get into it, you know, you'll bring your kid into it, I guess. I guess that's what they do, you know, because kids see what they see what their parents do and they want to emulate it. I'm a truck driver. You know, maybe my son wanted to be a truck driver when he was young. Obviously, he didn't want to be a truck driver. Um, my, I, I could be a plumber and he looked at me and say, oh, I want to be a plumber. I could be a gardener. And he could look at me and say, I want to be a gardener. But if I was in the porn industry. And my. 18 19 year old kid be like yo i want to be a porn star just like my dad maybe but you was not in the industry and you bringing your daughter and 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 oh oh my god like you're her support system this is weird though mm -hmm. this is. is really fucking weird man like my mind is blown what's your take on this do you do you approve of your daughter doing porn or do you just support her because she's doing it? I approve of it because it's her decision, her body, and mm -hmm. her choice. But why not just, you know, kind of be like supportive from a distance? Am I wrong for, for, for reacting this way, guys? Again, where's the father?
Would the father do this? Would the father do this? And anytime when you have one of your kids make a decision like that, you can shut him out or you can support him. And I choose to support him. You know, that's that's great because a lot of girls come in here, they don't have that positive reinforcement from their mom. Most of them don't even know who their fucking mom or dad are that yeah. come here. You're probably not familiar with our site, are you? No, I can't say that I am. Okay, if, if you were, you would probably wouldn't be sitting here. We're heralded as one of the more, like, degrading, humiliating, basically the last stop on the fucking road to throwing your life away. Damn it, man. And on that note, man, we we gonna we gonna leave it. We we gonna leave that right here. <laughs> we gonna we gonna leave that right here. I mean, that that's crazy. That is crazy. I I haven't seen nothing like this in my lifetime, man. And I and and I watch a lot of porn. I I don't watch this bullshit. Bullshit. But I do watch a lot of porn, man. But I have yet, you know, I, 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 well, I you know, I've seen actors that play mother daughter. I, I, I've seen porn. Uh, what, what, what you call that? Uh, uh, um, uh, to it, it start taboo, sister on sister, brother on sister, mother on sister, uh, 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 uh father on daughter. I've seen all that shit. You know, they was actors, but they was playing more like, yo, you my stepsister. You know, we're not blood, so you my stepsister. You my stepbrother. You my stepfather. You my stepmother. This is a whole mother-daughter right here, bro. A whole mother-daughter. What would you guys... Not, I bet you guys in the comments would be like, oh, man, that's some good shit right there. That's okay because, you know, the mom is supporting her. But what would you guys do if that was her father that brought her there to get the damn near gang raped on screen. Then what would you guys say? Then y'all be like, oh man, the father is this, that, and the third, and the father is just not a good father and, and all like that. But yeah, but y'all praising the mother though. The mother get all the praise. Oh, she's there. You know, she support her kid. And, you know, her daughter made up her mind. And, and if 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 I didn't support my daughter, she would have went and did it anyway. And I'm just here to to make sure that she get that she get done right for two thousand dollars. Come on, guys. Help me out here. Help me understand this, man. Help me understand this. And in the comments below, I need to know where these fathers are at. Where are you, dad? Why are you not in this young lady's life? Helping her, molding her, pointing her in the right direction. What's going on here? Let me know in the comments below. Yo, that's going to do it. Lockout, man. Yo, if you like content, well, if you don't like content like this, I, I don't expect you guys to leave a like because it's not trucking related. And I understand. I understand. I really do. But I'm, I'm coming at this from a father's point of view. And I'm a truck driver. You know, because a lot of us truck drivers be away from our, our kids. We sacrificing our lives not to be with our kids, but to but to be out here to help other people. And we're sacrificing, you know. Maybe maybe her father was a truck driver and she'd be like, well, he wasn't in my life. He wasn't there. He was always on the road. He was never there for me. And here's my mom's. She was there. You know. So I, I understand if, if you guys, you know, if you guys like the video, like the video. And if you don't, I understand. Yo, but if you like the Lockout Men podcast as a whole, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that bell notification so you can get daily content. All right. All right. I really do appreciate everybody that supports the channel. Thank you very much for watching. And fathers, this goes out to you, man. 
Be a positive fucking role model in your daughter's life. Okay? So that they don't end up on garbage ass porn sites for the world to see and being degraded on the internet. That's all I want y'all to do. I want y'all to be in your daughter's life so they don't end up being like this. Okay? Do that for me. Till next time, everybody. I'll holler at you later. And I'm out.